Hey guys, welcome back. Spraticus Spraticus Gaming coming to you today with a new Let's Play Romance of the Three Kingdoms 14. So before we jump in and we get into the game, um, I wanted to let everybody know why I haven't posted any videos recently. Um, I do have a sick parent um, who is dying from cancer. Um, so I have been involved in that and taking care of them. So, um, that is why you haven't seen anything from me recently, but, um, now I have a little bit more free time and, uh, I'm going to be posting more videos. So, uh, the upcoming videos we're going to have is of course, Romance of the Three Kingdoms 14. I also have a series that I'm, uh, doing on Stardew Valley and Dragon Age Origins. And I'm probably going to do the entire Dragon Age series because this next year or so we should see the next in that series. Uh, Dragon Age 4 should be rolling out here soon, hopefully within the next year or two. Um, and I'm going to start implementing a lot of my other games. Um, I love romance, but uh, I do I do play a lot of other strategy games, which I'm going to try to start piling in to uh my um my uh channel so but that all being said let's get to it okay um one of the things i'm going to be doing is i noticed as i kind of went back and started going through my channel again and starting paying attention to what was going on um there was you know there's a lot of new people um and being so many new people i may take it a little easier on this campaign um to kind of explain things and stuff so um now we're gonna we're gonna be playing the Lu Bu campaign i've already completed i actually played it a while back um just as a you know i just wanted to play some video games stuff was going on life was kind of hard and i didn't i didn't record it i just played it um i just wanted to play through it but we are going to play that because that is the the next one i had promised i was going to do um now this campaign is interesting. So, uh, Lu Bu, uh, he's not super hard to play as, but um, he's got a lot of uh, incompetent officers. And we have to play very defensively at the beginning here. And of course, we're not going to be doing any events that are going to put us in the shithole kind of thing. So we're gonna uh, we're gonna skip those events and then we'll we'll go into conquering and stuff. But basically, the whole goal here is um, I gotta grab a city down here. We have these two monsters that are sitting right next to us, and they they will be a difficult fight. Uh, you know, we have to kind of make sure that they focus on each other and not us. Why we kind of clean up everything else. So. That will be where we're going. Um, I'm not playing on Extreme anymore. It's not that fun to me. So we're going to be playing on Veteran. Uh, I, I much prefer Veteran over Extreme. And um, if you want to watch Extreme gameplay, you can watch some of my other videos. And uh, But I just, I'm just not into it all that much. So uh, let's just get this as hard as I can. Let's see. Wounded soldiers, yes. Yeah, let's do that. Partial link effects is normal. I do like the link effects. We could do a larger line uh, supply cut. But to be honest, you know, it's... At, at veteran level, it, I really don't see the necessity of doing that. Because I'm actually probably going to cut more lines than they will. So... Yeah, I think that is that is good. Yeah, I think we're fine here. 
it's been a minute since I played this, so I have to read over it, but... Yeah, we're good. I think that is that is perfectly fine there. Okay. So if you're new to the game, actually, we'll watch this event. All right, oh, let's just skip this. Okay, so let's take a look at kind of what we're looking at here. Um, and I'm going to go through my thought process a little bit more during this, this playthrough for newer players. Um, so looking at what we have to deal with here, um, we have kind of a view on Xiao here to the north. I'm not too worried about him as much as I am as Zhao Zhao. So, um, you know, he is definitely the bigger threat here. And then we have uh, Sun Tse here down in the south. And he is the secondary threat. So here's our two threats right here. Now, I found that in my last Let's Play, um, I went north. And this time I may shoot south early. And the reason why I may shoot south early is for the ge uh, geographical advantage down here is the trade with India. Um, it is super, super powerful. Um, and if we could do an early southern campaign and push in here really strong and get down into these southern areas, it is, it is excellent. Um, really, really nice. Um, but I don't mind also taking the north either uh, for the geographical advantages. Um, you know, high reputation is very nice. So, um, yeah. Also, another area is here. You know, these are kind of like the priority areas. This stuff is kind of trash. I don't care about uh, Shan Yu friends. Um, you know, I... They're, the officers are okay. You know, that's not any kind of huge big deal. But uh, getting down south and getting in here early um, might be the jam that we're going to take. So, uh, Sunsei, though, is quite strong. But that also means that we'll have to take a strong defensive position up here. Um, we may even consider... Um, taking central China first and then moving south. But I think that going south early might be what we want to do. Of course, the game is dynamic, so, you know, it's, the situation changes. But let's go ahead and start with the uh, first things we're going to do here. Um, one of the first things we need to do is start our marching. So we need to grab as many areas as we possibly can. 
Uh, let's see who's got all here. Let's take her. So the reason why I'm choosing all is because of um, the speed at which um, they go. So we're going to relay, grab that, attack that. Okay, that should be sufficient. Let's go ahead and get some troops out of here. Uh, supplies, let's just bring 10,000 and let's bring like half the gold. Okay, we need that over here. All right, and we'll leave 13,000 there. Okay, this city right here is really our pumper for everything. Uh, we're going to be able to have a lot more land here to really build troops and everything like that. So we're going to start off, though, of course, with commerce. Commerce is the number one thing. I When I first started playing, I made the mistake of trying to do a mix. And the reason why I go so hard into commerce is because you can buy yourself out. Uh, you can literally purchase yourself out of uh, crappy situations. And um, that being the case, let's actually just not do this one. Um, that being the case, um, you want to go gold, gold first. So... Okay. Bring him. Let's get him over here. Okay. We can actually put him here and him here. That'll be fine. Okay, we have three more orders. Let's get this area going. We're gonna change that later, but we're just gonna get a few of these areas set. And let's go ahead and do that. Definitely want him. And that'll be the end of her first turn. Okay. Um, we can go ahead and execute this right right now. Okay. I'm gonna skip this. Basically, um Gong Suzan is gonna fall to um Yuan Chao, so Alright, let's go ahead and reward everybody. Let's look for employments real fast. Many days, 23. Yeah, it's a little far off. 20. You know, we could possibly get him, but I doubt it. So we're not going to worry about it. All right, let's finish setting this city up. We need to pump this city hard. So, set this, and him, okay. And we're going to move all these other guys over here so I can set the city up properly. Right now, though, we just want this one to start building. Now this is going to be a little bit of a slower campaign um, because we it, it takes time to kind of get everything up and running. But what we're going to do now is let's go ahead and set up our administration. Uh, I think we'll 
take that. Domestics. Increase troop recruitment. Go ahead and take the orders increased and take that. Actually, is he my best warlord for sure? Yeah. Okay. And we're going to go hard into fish. So that should be sufficient for the moment. And we may have to play with these a little bit later. Um, to kind of change things around just a little bit. But let me just go ahead and use my points. Okay. Okay, let's grab her just a thousand troops. Okay, and we're just gonna go and snag uh, Let's actually we'll wait we'll actually wait for that Because I don't want to hold areas that I can't put anybody in so that's gonna be an important thing All right, this city is set. Let's do a re-evaluation of this city Dang needs to be changed. That. Okay. Just make sure I don't have anybody here. I'm actually going to have him enter the city. And by choosing to enter the city, it's making him gonna he's gonna stay here. So Alright, so we kinda got that all set up, but I wanna look at um Let's see, who do I wanna move? Let's take him and him. He's got drill master. I don't think I have anybody who... No, I do not. Okay. Okay, we're going to send them back. Uh, they will be used to recruit. Okay. Uh, next, we're going to go ahead and march out... Um, Zheng, uh, just march him out real fast in arrow formation just to grab this. And head home. Okay. Want him, them, these guys, these guys. She's so bad. But she'll work. Okay, we're going to take these guys and we're going to go ahead and move them over here. Go ahead and... Uh, Conquer Zoo Province. Get that reward in. And let's go ahead and hit a couple big searches here. Early. So we can um, see if we can pull any officers. That'll be fine for the moment.
go ahead and set that to commerce. Actually, you see better than. Ah, eh, not really. Okay. So we'll set that. That'll be fine. Uh, we got another turn until he gets there. Now what we're going to do, though, is um, we're going to go ahead and start recruiting out of here. So we'll just use him for the moment. Oops. Uh, let's go ahead and finish our administration stuff real fast. We got five more points. Um, this is definitely going to be probably Goose or Arrow. Yeah, Goose. That'll be fine. See if we have two points. Um, no, we're good. We're good. Go ahead and do a big search here. And I just want to see if I can pull any officers out, which is kind of the important thing right now is trying to get a few more officers. So early game, early game officers are critical. So. Now, basically, one of the things I'm going to do is I'm going to try not to piss off Sao So I don't want to I don't want to fuck with him at all. So. All right, let's go ahead and. Um, grab him, him and. Should be fine right now. Go grab that. Back. Grab that back. Now, we're going to kind of have a, a motley crew here of just kind of not like, like not my best guys for right now because this area is just more important for the moment being. This is going to this is going to be a war zone right here, so we need to take care of this area first. All right, let's start learning stuff. We're going to try to keep up on that the entire time. Okay, let's look and see who's got RAM. They all do. Okay. Let's do some more heavy searching early here. Go ahead, and we're going to set up this area now. We're not going to send people out on 12 days, but we'll definitely send people out on 7 days. So if we can pick up an uh, extra person, that is great. Uh, restrained, you'll probably never see me use. It's not the best ability, so I'll just toss that out. And the reason why I'm continuing to learn is to get this up to the next level so um i think we're pretty much good there let's go ahead and do another big search here let's try to pull everything out early
Okay, those are going to need to be muskets. So we're going to want both of those guys. And that might actually help me get Quan Ling up and running. So... Now, one of the problems we have, because we have a bunch of incompetent officers, um, and especially my warlord's incompetent, um, compared to, you know, other warlords out there, that uh, we're going to have issues on hiring people, because I can't really tell if what he's telling me is true or not, if it's easy or not. Some of them won't, will not be easy, so. Okay. I think we're in a pretty decent position at the moment. I just need to keep an eye out on him. Go ahead and search this city again. Okay. Let's go ahead and advance the turn. Okay, we can run out here and beat him up. Okay, he's giving us a gift of supply. I will take that. All right, let's run out. Let's kind of whoop him up. Um, we're not going to take that many troops, though. We don't need that many. Do I have... Yeah, I have adjutants. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to start with Zhang Liao. Okay. So him being here, now we're going to do a little switcheroo. So I'm at least uh, getting that city actually building up gold. Let's see if we have anything interesting here. Nope. Okay. Do a healthy search here. And let's go ahead and advance the turn. And it looks like he's going to get into a fight with Lu Bu. We should be able to win that fairly easy. Yep. That is excellent. That also should have cut him off. Not quite. Okay, let's keep trying to employ him. We do need to get him. Okay. Domestic area government. Let's go ahead and set this to commerce. Okay, we got that pretty much set. Let's go ahead and get the officers out of here that we don't want here. Um, we can go ahead and leave... Him. And the reason I'm going to leave him is just when I'm ready to start recruiting.
Okay, this is coming along very nicely. I think we're gonna do just a few more searches before we stop doing mass searches. So we're going to relay him around and head him home. That should be enough to take him completely out. So and that's going to knock 10,000 troops off of that castle, which will make it a little easier to deal with. Okay. I think that's good. Let's just keep going here. We're going to detain him. Um, see if I can possibly hire him. Um, if I can, it's big deal so let's go ahead and set this area back up okay so that's looking fine um, let's go ahead and let's set up for some recruitment here okay um our gold's pretty low, but I need to get some more troops there anyways. And I think we're good now to go ahead and set up for recruitment here. Um, we're not going to throw Lubu on there, though. Um, it's just not really worth throwing. Ah, uh, you know, maybe we should. Domestic city government. Let me see what the price difference. 730 a month. Yeah. Three fat 23 or 70 yeah no it's not worth it let's just keep him there let's look at employments out and about i think that is fine uh, the next thing we're going to do, though, is I am going to march out a um, little group here. Just um, 3,000 guys. And we are going to start building some arrow towers. Just protective ones. Um, just so that I can protect the city thoroughly. So. Okay. I think that is fine. And after this turn, I'm going to go ahead and set up my auto searches. I will take that for sure. And we do have to pay attention to what's going on down here, too. Because he could easily come up north and take our city from us. And we want to make sure that, that does not happen. So. All right. Uh, search. Let me make, get my auto search set up here. I'll accept overseers within 20 days. Go ahead and knock that out. We don't have anything else happening, so we'll just go continue the turn here. We're 
We're going to hold on to him for a minute. So. And we'll build another arrow tower there. Let's see if his loyalty has gone down at all. It hasn't. Okay. That's coming up. This is going to be a slow grow. That's for sure. We're going once we start getting more officers together, we will um, kind of do a little more there. But okay, look at learning here. We got Ram. All right, keep going. Nothing big from the south. Looks fine. And we're going to go ahead and just pump some turns, try to pick some stuff up, get these arrows towers built. We could possibly, when this alliance falls, we could possibly go in and beat him up. Although it may take us a while to kind of get our forces in order. So I'm not, actually, I don't think that's going to happen. We're going to need to build armies first. He is fairly weak, though. And uh, Leo Biao has pushed in over here, which means that Sunsei is kind of stuck here. So that's not bad either. Okay. Let's go ahead and retreat him back. And then... That's pretty much it for the moment. I mean, I'm just kind of got to bust their turns. I'm not going to go take this because that's just going to piss him off, and I really don't want to piss him off right now. So that being the case, I wonder if I should roll up here and grab this though. Maybe I should. I could roll up and grab a couple of these and start poking at him. Let's. Who is an easy all? He is. Just take a thousand troops, okay? We're just gonna run up here. Straight through there, run through there, there, and then home. Okay. I don't wanna hit this hornet's nest either, so. Let's look at employment possibilities. He's still really far down. He's still really far off. We gotta, we're gonna have to hold him for quite a while to get his loyalty to drop, if it, it will ever drop. <laughs> it's 
If it does start dropping, though, we're going to be in a really good spot, but I don't think it's going to drop. I think he's kind of a bitch to get, so... Okay, let's go ahead and start moving some more troops and food over here. We're going to keep this city about 10,000 troops, I think, is where we'll set. I uh, he, The chances of him coming down are low, and plus we can intercept, so it won't be too bad. Did I already auto-search? I think I did. Okay, let's go ahead and go forward. Okay, let's look at the events here. Um, now this... We're not doing. I'm not going to put myself in a shithole for an event, so... That would uh, basically destroy this entire campaign, and it's very hard to pull out of that. Um, it's actually almost impossible to pull out of that. We would actually end up losing two of our cities, which wouldn't be any good, so. Would be 5,000 gold. Let's try to, I, I would do this for 12,000 gold. Okay, we got volunteers. Volunteers increases our troops. Now we are being attacked by Sunsei. Um, I think we actually might be okay there. We'll see if they actually come up to the city. Um, what we might do here is actually go ahead and transport 5,000 troops out of here and bring these guys down here that's gonna help us out quite a bit to go ahead and try to do that before he comes across the water. Let's see if we can get him to uh, side with us. Uh, it's going to take him more than 20 days to come across the water, I think. So... Okay, let's see if we can 
get him into an alliance. Yeah, nobody's recommended. We're going to try to do it anyways. So. Okay. But if he gets up close, you know, I'll let him take the port and stuff like that. But if he gets up too close, we're going to. Hey, man. Actually, fuck this up right here. Yeah. Okay. That's fine. We only lost a little bit of gold there. I probably should have started that a little earlier to hold them off. But with the 5,000 troops and 9,000 troops, we'll easily be able to take these guys out if they come up onto the shore. Um, you know, if they come up into this area, we'll just swing around and cut them off. So, uh, let's look at our specialty items here. Um, I want to go ahead and get this off Zhang Liao. That would be nice. And then, um, let's see, we have intelligence plus five. Which is going to help us with him in the long run. 94 is a lot better. So, it'll start getting our stuff in order a little better. Okay. Go ahead look at see if we have any new tactics we do not so let's go ahead and press forward here looks like they're coming down to fight we'll see what they're going to actually do though Okay, let's go ahead and do our expansion stuff here. Let's see what we have. Um, no, not morale limits right now. No. I think this is where we're gonna go. I want to march out Shang Liao. Uh, we are going to do charge in Black Bull Yao. And we'll advance over here. Protect that city. As far as this goes, I'm sure they're probably going to turn around. I don't think they're actually going to come up to the city. If they do, that's a pretty foolish move of them. I'm surprised they're coming down south so fast, though. So. Okay, let's go ahead and advance the turn. <laughs> Looks like they're probably just going to take that territory and back off. So. They may actually come up. We'll see what he's about to do. Let's go ahead and advance the turn again. Yeah, 
Yeah, they're coming up. Okay, this is easy, an easy break. So we're going to be able to knock them down pretty quick. Okay, he ran away. Okay. Let's have him go ahead and build an arrow tower right here. Right there walking up. That'll help me out. If I need to, I'll run uh, Lubu out there, but I doubt I'll have to. Let's go ahead and build a second arrow tower right here. Protect that city from him. And let's go ahead and advance. That should be enough to cut them off. If she gets cut off, I'm not too worried about it, so... I will accept that. Alright. And that should be enough for them to um, protect that city. And that should be enough for him to protect this city. So... Let's put him there for the conquer land. And we'll just let this sit for the moment being. All right, let's go ahead and advance the turn. Um, I'm going to hit him pretty good here. It should actually drop them. Okay. Keep watching this. They're going down pretty fast, though. Let's go ahead and repair that tower. Uh, who do we want to go run out there? Uh, we'll wait for right now. We'll let him. We'll let him drop a little bit. I do want to take um, somebody with maybe a ram here, real quick. Let's bring like three thousand out and let's ram down this camp. 
And then we'll grab that back from him. Just let him die there. Let's see if we have anything to teach right now. Uh, Inferno and Restrained. I think, um... Oh, those are both Intelligence when Lubu just is not there. Go ahead and do that. I'm gonna hold on to Inferno right now for, um, Zhang Liao. So... He would be an excellent pickup. Let me see if I can grab him. I doubt it. I doubt I can get up there fast enough to do it, but I want to see if I can grab him. Let's go ahead and retreat him home. Okay, we're going to execute this. Lost Lu Zhang. Let me see what the employment situation looks like. Uh, nothing special. I don't know if we could go get Lu Zhang um, before anybody else does. It would kind of run us a little thin thin for officers but I'll tell you it would be an excellent grab let me see if I can pull it off or not if I can it would be excellent because I can ally with him and that would give me a good staging point to take Xiao Chun and Jian Yi. Because he's in a nice weakened state right now. He's pretty spread out and so is he. And we have enough free officers, it looks like. To actually hold the city. We'd have to go in a very good defensive position, but I'm kind of spreading myself out a little bit, which is not a good thing. So let's go ahead and see if we can grab that city. I would like to dissolve this alliance and take him down, though.
Let's take this city first. Oh, he's already on the way over. I don't think I can get to it. How many officers does he have? 20 active officers? That would be huge. All right, we're gonna see if we if we do get down here before he does. I doubt it. I really do. I don't think we can get that far, that fast. Yeah, there's no way. Okay, we're gonna retreat her back. Okay. That off there. Okay, we're gonna retreat her back. We're gonna wait for him to come in. We're going to dissolve this alliance and we're gonna attack Shao Chun and see if we can grab Shao Chun. Um, that would be a huge grab for us early game, plus having 20 officers. So let's see, city info officers. Let's see who's got. Nobody in particularly good. Oh, he has Lu Su, which wouldn't be bad. That would actually be great, actually. Let's look at. Hmm. The biggest thing is his intelligence would be excellent. Plus, he is not a bad officer. But I think he's dying. Yeah, he's dying. Really what that will allow me to do is just get an extra city going. Um, so let's... With 3,000 troops, he really doesn't have much to stop us with. So... I forgot to set guys to these. Let's get somebody real quick set to do drilling um, so I can get um, that up and running here over the next couple turns and we're going to look at taking the city with the 30 something thousand troops we have there we should be able to do it and we should be able to do it with maybe 20,000 troops take the city down. Jing Yang. Oh, okay. Got it. Yeah, we're going to go ahead and dissolve it right now. And then we're going to um, attack, uh, start an attack here. 
next turn. So I think we're going to take about 8,000 troops each. I think we can rip that city down in that time frame. So, well, uh, maybe not now. Hold on. We might have to wait until after this. Okay, we'll wait until after these guys. They're gonna come up, and then we're gonna we're gonna swing in here. So let's go ahead and retreat them back. I'm out of gold there. I'm pretty much out of gold there. I'm out of gold basically everywhere, actually. Um, it's actually may not be able to march. Let's go ahead we're gonna need gold here so let's go ahead and process everybody through um because i'm so low on gold i may not actually be able to march troops right now Them building a catapult tower I do not like. So we need to take them down immediately. We get our alliance or our things back up there. Um, loyalties. And then let's pummel up our uh, gold more there. Keep pumping our gold up here because we do need to attack this city. So, this may actually give me a good opportunity to attack that city. So, it should be an easy win. Oh, I guess not. what we will start doing though is start taking these areas yeah those are bad formations whoops Yeah, we're going to need to grab some of these areas around here so we can do a nice solid attack on them. So. Yeah, he's pushing in, in there. Okay.
我有事禀报。老家想我吗 ？Hey, let's retreat these boys back. We'll start grabbing territory、um, from him. Let's see who we have. That's all. There we go. I don't think he could fight us off right now, anyways. So, uh, we can hold off on those for the moment. Eh,、uh, maybe we should reward those guys. We just need enough for three guys to get out. So, Please tell me. Oh come on, you guys! Give me some gold. Might have to swing down and take fooling too. Let's take her down and grab that real fast, and then head home. So I'm at least grabbing territory. Okay, that should be enough for me to march on it. So we'll take these three.、Uh, Lubu will actually go in a goose. Actually, I wish I had it disturbed.、Um, let me just see here. We have an inferno. And we have that war cry. That should be enough. We're gonna have to drop that down. Actually, we'll probably actually keep these. Ten thousand. Okay, Ram. War cry. Let's do these like that. Ten thousand. Move transport. Four thousand two hundred eighteen. Let's bring two thousand gold and let's bring thirty thousand supply. Move that over there. Okay.
Let's go ahead and put somebody on that. We'll leave that as is for the moment being. And then we're going to go ahead and search the city one more time. Let's get my gold up. I think that's enough troops to take down this. That sh I believe that's sufficient and I don't have to worry about them tacking because he's so spread out and weak right now and also that might open up yeah that's going to open that up let's go ahead and uh, finish um, taking down this city for dang, my gold is just not coming up uh, for the video okay well let's see if we can take it down i would like to get fooling under our control too my gold situation is just horrible there Right, we're done doing major searches, so. That should be sufficient. I think we'll grab Fuling too. So let's get. Yeah, we'll let him kind of uh, pile in there. Got to get everybody together for this attack. We got to get it. We got to get it done pretty quick here, or we have a real problem on our hands. I want to walk him through the swamp a little bit so that I can get these guys in the correct position. <clears throat> I think that's enough to get this done correctly. The reason why I'm marching Lu Bu like that out, yeah, good, good. is um, I want him in a very specific position because he's reckless. You know, if I stick him, if I walked him right up here, he may not take properly. So, or put him in the position I want him in. I don't want anybody falling out of that city and, and killing my, um, killing my ram, which can happen, so. Okay. Alright, we should be good. Yeah, having him disordered is a, not a problem at all. In fact, I'd rather have him disordered than, um, Having, um, okay, I think we got this. Oh, 
I don't think anybody's marching on us from anywhere, so that's great. Let's go ahead and advance the turn one more time. We should be able to get the city down this turn or next turn, so. Next turn. The reason why I'm placing that attack like that, I uh, make sure they all attack, is because they should move into the city as soon as I do that. So, okay. We're out of gold there, but that's okay. Go ahead and invest the turn one more time. And we're going to detain the rest. Okay, that is excellent. Okay, Gong Suzong is dead. Okay. Okay. I'm not worried about him. Okay, um, let me, let's go ahead and clean up. Let's go ahead and uh, employ everybody if we can. People employ, get our officers in order. This may be worth going after somebody like him. Yeah. Let's see who else he got up in here. These guys aren't that fantastic, to be honest, but um, being that low, low of loyalty, I should be able to pick him up. So let's go for him. Just extra officers to hold, you know, areas and stuff. So. And then let's get him set on commerce. We'll reset um, the commerce once we get everybody employed. But right now, I just want to make sure we have everything at least expanding. So. Set him there. Okay, let's go ahead and advance the turn and then we'll see what um one you and stuff does right there and see who we can get hired in so okay they've fallen back that's great
I will take him. Is he even doing all that well? Let me see. Let me reward everybody, but let me see. City info officers. Is he near death still? No, nope, he's good. Okay. He is an ex. He's actually an excellent uh, uh, addition. So, um, yeah. So the tax collector is nice. I mean, he's not the best guy in the whole entire world, but um, his um, I I run him as a goose, and you want glory. He was actually a really good ability, and he has disorder too to start off with. So we're in a good position with him. Um, yeah, yeah, I think we're, uh, that is really nice, so. Okay. So that will be the end of the video. Uh, we've taken our first city, uh, which is a nice fat city. Um, our next goal, uh, I need to get a alliance going with him. Um, I'm not going to be able to move in on any of this here right now. Uh, it looks like Matang is kind of occupying Tau Tau for right now. So I need to um, take advantage of that situation, get an alliance here. I need to take this city and I need to move in and start taking him down. Uh, I got to knock him down a peg or two. Um the sooner we get into the southern regions the better so um and there's some really nice fat cities down here that are going to you know like woo and stuff uh woo is a excellent city and it's going to keep us keep us nice and fat and so is lujang um actually they're all the, these three all these cities right here are nice fat cities that i would like to get my hands on um, the only thing that um, I would like to see happen, though, before I take Lu Zhang is have him take back this area right here. Um, maybe I'll take this down and then set up an alliance. <clears throat> that would be okay. Uh, but what we're going to have to do probably is take our attack from over here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get this city set up all the way um, because it's such a big fat city. I need this city to really come up really fast. Um, and I need to hold this position. And it's it's actually quite hard to hold because there's so many swamps and crap right here that um, it's really hard to... Um, you can't really build anything around here. You know, if even if... I if we march out let's go ahead and just take him and then see what areas we can even build in yeah so as you can see it's it's not the best area um to build in i'm not too worried about this stuff up here as i am this area right here <clears throat> You know, uh, we would have to build a wall of arrow towers right here. And all that's going to do is piss everybody off. And we're going to be constantly being attacked. So we might be able to just to hang back, uh, build up troops, build up economy. And um, just hold, this, hold the ground here. So... Um, biggest thing though, is we have to keep high troop counts here. So what I might have to do is I might have to come out of Guanling and strike at Lu Zhang or Jian Yi. I would prefer to take down Lu Zhang and come from this side, but coming in from here and swinging in is not a bad idea either. The only thing though, is we have to take this city down or this port down to do that. I've done this before, but it's not my favorite attack. Um, you know, it, it just does not does not do as well. It's it's hard because if they come in and take this down from you, you're, you're pretty much screwed. So, but that's going to be it. So go ahead, like, subscribe, leave a comment below and let me know what you think. Take it easy.